How's it going guys? Today we're talking about the brand new GoPro Hero 13 and I'll be telling you guys my favorite settings for filming FPV with this camera. I've been using this camera for about a month now and I also got tested out earlier this year as well. And I have started to dial in my settings with this camera and I want to tell you guys what those settings are so you guys can copy them for your own setup. Now I'm not saying these are the absolute best settings or the best for every scenario, but these are just the settings that I have found to be my favorite and what works best for me and what I think gives me the best look for the type of footage I look for and in most scenarios that I'm filming it. So we're going to jump right into it. So first off, you're going to want to go and change your settings on your camera to the pro controls. So you're going to swipe down, swipe over, and you'll go over to where it says controls and make sure that says pro. Now you're gonna go back, you're gonna tap on the bottom and you're going to make a new preset. Now in that preset, you're going to set your profile to standard. You're gonna set your framing to eight by seven, which this gives you the ability to crop in both vertically and landscape out of your video whenever you're filming. I always set my resolution to 5.3K and I set my frame rate to 30 FPS. Now this is one of those scenarios where you might change that setting. So for me, whenever I wanna film a little bit of a slower footage, and I know I'm gonna slow it down in post, I'll change it to 4K and set my frame rate to 60, but 90% of the time I'm filming in 5.3K at 30. Now this is very important if you're going to stabilize your footage in real steady, which I highly recommend you do, is to go down and change hypersmooth and set it to off. Next, we're gonna go down to the ProTune settings. First thing we're gonna change is your bit depth. Change that to 10 bit. Next is your bit rate, set that to a higher bit rate. And let's lock off our shutter speed at one over 60. That's going to give us some nice motion blur in our footage when we're filming in 30 FPS. If you opt to film in 60 FPS, I would recommend setting your shutter speed to one over 120. Next, we're gonna go down and lock off our white balance. Now this is going to vary based on the scenario, but I highly recommend filming in 5500 if you're filming in broad daylight outside. Next, we're going to lock off our ISO, set our min to 100 and our max to 100. Again, this is going to vary. If it's a little dark outside, you need to bump the ISO a little bit. You may need to do that. But for most scenarios, I highly recommend just locking off at 100. This is going to be the cleanest footage. Now we're going to go in and we're going to set our sharpness to low. You can always add sharpness later in post, so I highly recommend just setting that to low. And this is a new setting that's on the GoPro Hero 13 is the denoise setting. This was a GoPro Labs feature that they've now added to the camera. I recommend setting that to low if you guys have some denoise software on your computer. If you don't have denoise software, maybe set that to medium. But if you do have denoise software, set that to low so you guys can customize that in post whenever you're editing. And last but not least, I always set my color to flat, and that's just because, again, you can edit those colors in post. So if you want to look more like the natural or like the GoPro colors, you can do that in post. And that's that. Those are my GoPro settings for FPV with the GoPro Hero 13. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked out the GoPro Hero 13 already, I highly recommend going and checking it out for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys liked today's video, please drop a like subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time.